Thank you, Program Director. I would like to acknowledge His Excellency Abdalafiz Nufal, Ambassador of Palestine. Also acknowledge Mr. Hosanna, diplomat. Also acknowledge Mr. Mohamed Desai. Also acknowledge Mrs. Emma Daid. Acknowledge our Treasurer General of the ANC, Comrade Zuelim Kize. Acknowledge our regional ANC Chairperson, Comrade Talomane, and also our regional secretary, Comrade Nzwandile Mkwanazi, and all the comrades who are here. Also recognize a lot of councillors which I've seen are with us here. Leaders of government gathered this evening, our brothers and sisters from Palestine Solidarity Alliance, leaders of business, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. We are happy to be gathered in this fashion to discuss one of the world's worst strategies of our time. The plight of the people of Palestine, I use the word happy, not because the situation in the Middle East triggers those feelings, but I use it because at this, at least tonight, we will hopefully receive a more accurate encounter of what the people of Palestine have had to experience for almost two months, instead of the more condensed accounts of what we normally see in the media or the TVs. In line with the resolution of Mangawum National Conference of 2012, the ANC called upon on South Africans to support the programs and campaigns of the Palestinian civil society which seeks to put pressure on Israel. This translated into branches and structures of the ANC across the country, joining the Palestine Solidarity and, and the boycott. I'm calling immediate end of Israel violence against Palestinian people. At the level of government, we were encouraged by the President of the Republic, decided to send Comrade Aziz Pahat and Zola Square to a special envoy to Israel and Gaza to register South Africans' concerns on the escalating violence in the Middle East. This we did as part of the international outcry over the more than 2,000 people who had been killed in Gaza since the violence started and more than 10,000 people who had suffered injuries. As a democratic state, it was of serious concern that there seemed to be an apparent lack of worry for Palestinian targets, most of whom were civilians. At the government of the African National Congress, we welcome the ceasefire that was brokered between the two parties on the 26th of August. This agreement comes after most two months of ruthless fighting, which has led unwarranted bloodshed, displacement, and destruction in the region. We hope we are hopeful that all the parties will use this period to move beyond this and indefinitely halt the hostilities. The building genuine and lasting peace, it is the wish of all peace-loving people of the world, that the region does not return to the violence which has destroyed families and killed so many people. With those few words, I, want, I wish to welcome all of you uh, to this Hibiscus Coast Municipality and say thank you.